welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of materials. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. This question is actually rather simple. However, some students may struggle in choosing the right answer as they are unsure on how to tackle it the right way. So let me show you how I would do this question. We have four objects over here, iron nail, metal paper clip, fabric cloth and plastic straw. Based on these four observations made by Zhu, we are to identify the correct object that Zhu is talking about. So let's read each observation and eliminate the objects which does not fit the observation. Number one, it can float in water. Can an iron nail float in water? To find that out, we will need to look at the material it is made of. Iron is a type of metal. And metal is a material that sinks in water, not float. And therefore, we know that iron nail is not the object we are looking for, so let's cross it out. How about the metal paper clip? As the name itself says, it's metal. And like we said earlier, metal sinks in water, not float. So the metal paper clip is not the object we are looking for, also. So let's cross that out too. How about the fabric cloth? Fabric is a material that floats on water, so does plastic. So we cannot eliminate these two yet. Now let's look at the next observation. It can be bent easily. Since we have eliminated both iron nail and metal paper clip as it does not fit the first observation, we will just focus on the fabric cloth and the plastic straw. And in fact, both fabric cloth and plastic straw can bend easily. So based on our second observation, we can't eliminate these two yet. Third observation tells us that the object does not absorb water. With regards to the fabric cloth, we know that fabric is an absorbent material. Hence, the fabric cloth would absorb water. So we can now eliminate the fabric cloth. However, how about the plastic straw? Plastic does not absorb water as it is a waterproof material and therefore we already got our answer. To confirm that plastic straw is the answer, let's check whether it fits the last observation. Can the straw be cut easily with a pair of scissors? Yes, it can. So which one of the objects was Zul's observation based on? The answer is plastic straw. So this is how you can solve the question based on eliminating the options. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!